Hey, hello guys, this is Karthik from EasyRoadAutomation.com and this is part 7 of our Android app automation with Robotium series. And from this part, we are going to introduce our Robotium. So, so far in this video series, we are talking about what is Android automation, what are the different tools available in Android and how to install the Android SDK in a local machine, how to write a simple native application using Android and Eclipse. So from this part, we can talk about the real Robotium itself. So far, we have been touched about Robotium and from this part, we are going to talk more about Robotium and from this part, we are going to only talk about Robotium. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 5 and part 6 since in part 5 and part 6, we wrote our simple Android native application. So before watching this part, please watch those two parts so that you can have a clear understanding of writing a simple Android native application as well as the application under test since that application is what we're going to use for automating in next videos of this video series. Okay, so let's get started. Robotium, as we already discussed, is a Android testing framework for automating a hybrid and native applications. So you can install Robotium by downloading it from the links as shown here. We can call this as installing or we can also call this as a referencing since Robotium is actually a jar file. So all it is is a jar file. That's it. And you're going to add that jar file in the Android test project. So again, Android test project is pretty new concept. So we will talk about creating Android test project in next video of this video series. So just hold tight. We'll talk more about that in the next video. So before that, let's go to the link as shown here and we'll download the robot in our machine. So I'm going to go to my Chrome. All right. And here I'm going to search for Robotium. All right. Super. So here you can see there's the link available in Google's project. And so as you can see, the Google code has got this Robotium. And the latest version of Robotium is 5.4.1. So you can download it from here. So if you hit this, you can download the Robotium solo jar file. So I have already downloaded in my local machine and it's already there in my local machines. So as you can see, there are some new functionalities in this 4.1, 5.4.1, sorry. And the features are, uh, it includes the illustrate method, click on recycler view, click long in recycler view and these are some of the most expected features for a pretty long time. So we are requesting for that and it's out there right now. So we can use them as well. All right. So let's flip to our slide. So before jumping into Robotium, so let's have some of the pros and cons of the Robotium itself. Well. There are some pros and cons of Robotium compared to other freely available tools like Appium or Calabash. So Appium or Calabash, these are very, very famous automation testing tool as equivalent to Robotium. But Appium and Calabash are more prevalently used in some of the cases. So we'll discuss about them as well. So Robotium, the implementation is in Java, hence it is easy to write the code. Whereas Appium and Calabash, they are written in JavaScript and Ruby respectively. So Robotium supports only Android applications. Whereas Appium or Calabash, they support both Android and iOS applications. So needed little knowledge on the underlying AUT applications in the Robotium case. Whereas in Appium, we don't require much knowledge on the application under test. It supports multiple activities seamlessly, whereas Appium or Calabash, they also support multiple activities seamlessly. Again, the activity is something which we discussed while creating the Android native applications. And we have Robotium Test Recorder, but that's a proprietary software you need to download with license. So you can download that and get the license from Robotium.com website. It's not the one which we saw right now. Whereas in Appium or Calabash, no such thing is there. We need to figure out manually. 
Alright, so these are some of the pros and cons of Robotium as compared to Appium or Calabash. But again, these are some of the very, very less pros and cons which was just running on top of my mind. I thought of listing them. So if you have some more, please add them in the comments below of this video. So that's it guys. This is a very simple introduction of Robotium. So in the next video of this video series, We'll talk more about creating a Robotium project and referencing the Robotium with your application under test. So that's it guys. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.